People are always asking questions, you know, what does it take to go from point A to point B? You know, how do I become a working composer? So what we have in the music business is that people are not informed. The more detailed your information, the more accurate your map and the more chances you're gonna to get to your destination. So anyways, stop sucking. Here's my stuff, dude. Here's my thing, you gotta look at it, dude. Hey, you haven't looked at my stuff, dude. You know, I mean, all this constant like barrage of stuff causes you to suck because then they don't wanna answer your call. I put in the hours. So when I got out of Dick Grove School, I went right to work for NBC, CBS, ABC. And other people in my class, kind of like it took them 10, 15 years because they hadn't put in the hours. Don't give away your wares. You know, when you're doing your marketing, you go, yeah, I'll do this for nothing, I'll do that. You don't have to give away your wares because that only begets more waste. I get demos all the time that sound like they're trying to copy Danny Elfman or Zimmer or somebody. Nobody wants the third string Hans Zimmer. Nobody even wants the second string. Do you walk into a store and say, you know what? I want the third best can of peaches. Most music directors decide within one second whether they're gonna listen for five seconds. And if you don't make the five second part, they just delete it. You need to understand what they want because you're not creating a product that they want. Slamming people is where you force your demo on people. You're the one at the party, hey, here's, my, here's my thing, here's my card, here's my talk. Don't do it. These are levers and tools that make lifting this huge problem so that all of a sudden you can do it. Because you're using the tools that are gonna get you leverage, get you physically there.